All right, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name's Elliot, and you're watching Rickety Ski Reviews. Today, I stand before you a humble man, hoping to share fond memories and pay tribute to the one long deceased, and that is Curated Ski Reviews. Yes, that's right, we got a comment from one of the Curated Ski Reviewers saying that it is no more, and I hadn't actually noticed, but I went on their YouTube page to confirm, and it looks like they stopped doing ski reviews anywhere from like nine months to a year ago, depending on how you look at it. So, it's time to pour one out for the homies. Goodbye, Curated. So long, farewell, it was nice knowing you. Um, yeah, I will say I'm sad to see them go. As much as I loved picking on Curated, it was something to watch, and I always got the impression that the experts really were trying. I think that my assessment comes up to a lot of different things, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But, so long, Curated. I feel like, if I'm gonna say something positive about Curated, as much as I ripped on them, they always took it in good form. I never got a nasty comment from one of the experts. I feel like they were all like, yeah, like I really couldn't control it. And I will say that they probably respond better than unofficial networks, uh, Tom Gelly, who doesn't reply at all, uh, even like a lot of the other big review channels that I've reacted to. I would say that Curated took it on the chin and were always good sports about it. I don't think I was ever too harsh on the reviews because the reviews were mostly nonsense. But I think at times maybe I was a little harsh on the experts, quote unquote. The problem is that Curated really threw them under the bus by calling them Curated Experts, where some of these people, at least the thing they were talking about, they were definitely not experts. But we'll give one last hurrah here to Curated, and then from there I'll just be picking along the corpse of old reviews they did. But honestly, I gotta say, I'm not that surprised that Curated died. It certainly has a lot of subscribers at 13,000, which is a little odd, but they didn't actually have that much viewership. You go and watch and like, the reviews did not have a ton of views, especially for how short they were. Um, and you could tell from a lot of it, it was mostly total nonsense. So I guess I'm glad to see it dead in the sense that like, it's no longer putting out misinformation. But I am sad to see one more ski review channel go because there aren't really many of them and it was nice to at least have some diversity. So I, I am sad in that sense. I like to make fun of Curated, but it was always in the hopes of like them improving and getting better, not outright like putting them out of their misery this way. All right, but let's read this person's comment. I haven't verified this. I looked up the person's YouTube channel and I didn't recognize them as a Curated expert. Maybe they were just one of the skiers in the background. But let's see what they had to say. All right, this comment comes from Ian Free 37 Wow, as one of the experts in the Curated video, never expected to have someone go piece by piece and pick it apart. It's funny to have someone be so critical, both of the review and my skiing. Obviously, Curated ski reviews weren't a hit since they canceled them last year. The experts were given very little support, asked to do a ton of reviews, and lots of our comments and footage were taken out of context by whoever edited them. You have 100% control over your video, so try not to judge experts who had no control over anything but turning the camera on. I definitely had a lot of things I would have changed if I had creative control, haha. <laughs> we had a lot of topics and aspects of the ski we had to cover on every ski, regardless of whether it was relevant. On the topic of the ski, I do think that the tune must have been poor, or maybe we were coming from the enforcer line, which just felt way better on the groomers, but on the groom runs, the bent 110 felt horrible. Maybe it was a weird snow consistency, groom pow that didn't hold when you carved, but it was a not a good time. Basically, I understand your frustration with the review, but try to refrain from blatantly disrespecting the experts, saying that we don't have the ability. Did you look up who you're talking about? Luke Ski's remote coulier, couloirs that few people in the world have ever looked at and has also competed in the shooting gallery in the Wasatch. I've heard of that. Uh, I have literally been a professional skier since I was 16, was top 50 in the world in slope style, and been making films and content for decades. Maybe holding a selfie stick and doing dad turns for an underfunded review doesn't show that, but do some research before put people on blast. Before putting on people on blast? Props for putting together solid reviews. Appreciate the work you put in. Hope this helps your engagement, haha. -ha. Um, okay. Getting a little full of yourself there with some of the comments, but overall, a friendly and nice comment. Um, am I too hard on the creative experts? I don't feel like, I'm, I'm not trying to be critical of you guys as overall skiers. I've clearly said several times, I'm not a freestyle skier, I don't understand that world. 
I'm just judging your carving, which for an all mountain ski is like 50 to 70% of what the ski should be doing. And especially in the Atomic Bent 110, again, it doesn't matter, but when you guys were talking about the features of how it carved, well then that's where we're gonna talk about that or off trail performance, things like that. And it was just goofy video, but I can understand where you're coming from and I don't think you guys are bad skiers. I think a lot of times it's just really goofily edited and the things that they're like talking points are always really weird, but I'll concede. Maybe I'm a little too harsh on the actual skiers themselves. I think maybe I could be easier on that, but when you guys get into the carving stuff, like, you know, that's when you're entering kind of my domain, being like, oh, well, I've, my friends touch couars that no people have, man has never seen. It's like, all right, let's deflate the ego a little bit, okay? <laughs> and, a lot of these curated experts, I feel like after they saw the first video of themselves, could have also just bowed out. Like, yes, this is uncurated for doing that, but nobody was holding a gun to your head making you review further skis once you saw it. Um, I think the curated experts are probably more like innocent bystanders in this train wreck, but you guys, you know, you guys also pressed the record button and said all the stuff and anyway, I don't know. Uh, I. Here's my olive branch. I'd love to talk with you guys. If you're ever in Idaho and want to like do a redemption ski review, please reach out. Um, I'm sure you guys are mostly innocent in this, but at the same time, like when you sign up to be on camera and you're getting paid by curated, I don't know, you're kind of signing that away, unfortunately. But all in all, I think I've mentioned this before. I have nothing but love for most curated experts in general. It's curated itself, I feel like, I'm not surprised at all to hear that it's dying out. I mean, I've said this whole thing was doomed to fail from the beginning. You're basically going, oh, let's take a ski shop, someone who is an expert, and let's make an algorithm for it. And someone's gonna fill out information online, and then we're gonna have experts funnel into what ski we're gonna recommend to people. Not everything can be digitized or replaced with an algorithm. So, I don't know, I mean, None of the reviews were good, really. I saw a couple of experts that were pretty good, but for the most part, you guys were way talking out your butts, and if you kind of stuck to your area and were like, hey, this is what I know about freestyle, this is what I know about like backcountry skiing, whatever, but you didn't, you started talking about carving when you clearly like were out of your depths. And on top of that, like the whole thing is just awful to begin with. Have you seen some of the videos that they have online where it's like a guy in in his home office like clicking around and spreadsheet and talking about what ski people should have? And the consumer, you guys, if you as a curated expert, read some of the comments on my videos. The horror stories of skis that got recommended to people who are beginners or intermediates and didn't know any better. I just don't, I don't like curated overall. It's a bad system, it didn't work. You got a bunch of people saying, well like, well by the numbers, you should get this ski and totally leading people astray, giving people skis that were way too wide. There were people who got recommended Atomic Bent 110s as their daily driver and they're barely seeing more than four to six inches of snow. Seriously, read through it. Yeah, maybe I was a little harsh on your skiing technique, okay. But the end user, the people who are buying skis, were actually negatively affected by these videos. So, I don't know, maybe I'm rescinding my apology. <laughs> I'm sorry I was harsh about your scheme. That is weird and it's not always accurate, but when you were talking about carving, like some of the stuff was just wrong. It was just straight up wrong. I'm sure you guys are good skiers, I'm sure you're great in your fields, whatever, but you're out to lunch on what intermediate carving skiers needed. So, the, like, there's more damage done than good in these reviews, and I'm not surprised to see them dead. I'm honestly a little bit surprised they lived as long as they did. There's some things you can't replace real people with. Oh, AI is gonna replace people. We'll get an algorithm that tells people what skis to buy. What a bunch of baloney and good riddance. I mean, Ian, I'm sure you're a great guy. I'm sure your friend is a good skier, but I'm gonna like screenshot just if you search curated in my comments, all of the horror stories people had and how many people were led astray by bad advice. I don't care what anyone posts for ski footage, I don't care about anyone's skiing ability, but when you put on this like jacket of, I'm an expert and I'm gonna tell you what ski to buy, and people will trust that blindly, that's when we have issues. And I think a lot of that too, like you said, it comes from bad editing and from curated slapping that badge on when there's people who are experts in different areas. So anyway, that's enough of my rant. Um, I, that, that's the video for today. We will have more the next day. But 
as always, just thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, I will have links down below to all of the ski deals that I have found recently. You can also like and subscribe. That's a free way to support the channel. We have memberships. But as always, more than anything, just thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate you guys taking the time and listening to me rant about Curated. I can appreciate experts being kind of funneled into uncomfortable positions. When I worked for Ski Racing Magazine, that happened to me all the time. Oh, Elliot, we don't want to hear about ski racing for Ski Racing Magazine. We want to hear about the top 10 resorts in France. And I'm like, I'm from rural Vermont. What? I can sympathize with it. But at the end of the day, you guys had to like be a little bit responsible for, oh, hey, we kind of misguided a bunch of intermediates or we were like not holding anyone accountable to the edits of us talking. And you have to own a little bit of that. Um, it's a kind of a shorter video. There will be more later. Uh, I just can see that there's storm clouds up ahead. But thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.